The Mystery of the Ghent Altarpiece. The theft of a part of this Ghent altarpiece in 1934 is still a mystery that keeps a lot of people busy in Belgium and surrounding countries. The first time we heard about this mystery was around 2002. We met a Belgian lady, Maria de Ro, with her nickname Villain, who was also interested in the Rennes Le Chateau mystery. As we shared that interest, we became friends and she started to tell us about the mystery of the Ghent altarpiece. She wrote a book about it and if you can read Dutch, you can download it for free. As she was born and raised in Wetere, the hometown of the alleged thief, Arsène Goedertier, her interest was a lot more than just a hobby. For a while she was sure the stolen panel was hidden in her hometown, but the more she knew about the story, the more she was convinced there was no simple solution. For the last couple of years she was convinced the panel was already found, but the owner, the church, can't give it back because of a scandal surrounding it. She passed away in 2011 and we promised to continue her search. With a full-time job and interest in many other mysteries, we don't have enough time to dedicate ourselves to this mystery as much as we would like. But hey, this is a good start. If you need background information, you can visit different sites about this subject. Our site is called rrresearch.nl RR for Rechtvaardige Rechters Yes, I know it's impossible to pronounce, but from now on we will call it the Just Judges. Insight Information Today's Insight Information is a short summary of the mystery. In coming episodes I will give you some more details. It was in the morning of the 11th of April in 1934 that the theft of the panel was discovered. Actually, two panels were stolen, but this fact was not known to everybody. One side was a painting of the just judges and on the other side there was a painting of John the Baptist. The two sides were separated from each other when the altarpiece was owned by the Germans. We will go into that in another episode. Three weeks later, a letter arrived at the Diocese of Ghent. It stated the thief possessed the two panels and he would return John the Baptist to prove this. In return, he wanted one million Belgian francs. The letter was signed with the letters D-U-A. The answer was given in a small advertisement in a newspaper. The thief would get his money and so the thief wrote the bishop where he could find John the Baptist and how he wanted the one million francs. What followed was a cat and mouse game. The thief was paid only 25,000 francs and of course the panel of the just judges was never returned. In November 1934, a well-known inhabitant of the village Wetteren died. On his deathbed, he whispered he knew everything about this case. He told his friend, a lawyer, George de Vos, who was with him, that he would find everything concerning this case hidden in a drawer in his office. The lawyer didn't go to the police straight away. He found duplicates of all the letters and some other papers and together with some high-placed friends he started an investigation himself. Only a month later he decided to inform the police about it. The painting was never found. In the war a German officer did the investigation all over again. He found out that important witnesses were never questioned and that the investigation of the police was not very thorough. But his research was forgotten too. In 1966 a Belgian police officer, Karel Mortier, published together with a journalist, Noah Kerkhardt, a new study about this theft. 
He found out about the German research and also found a lot of unknown evidence. This case is one of the most intriguing stories of modern art criminology. A lot of researchers think the panel cannot be lost forever. And we all hope to find a shred, an overlooked piece of evidence that will lead us to the hiding place and help us to restore the Ghent altarpiece. And here's some news. In May, a train carrying chemicals derailed in Wettern. It catches fire, killing one and forcing hundreds to flee their homes as deadly fumes spread. The accident and blaze prompted authorities to evacuate nearly 300 people. We can't imagine what the effects of this accident is in the long term and we would like to share our sympathy with the inhabitants of Wetteren. The restoration of the Adoration of the Mystic Lamb started in September 2012. The thorough restoration will spend some five years with about three phases of one and a half year each. The cathedral, the Museum of Fine Arts and the Carmen's Cloister are joining forces to tell the story of this masterpiece during its restoration. In February, one of the people restoring the panel with the city view found a face. If you would like to see it for yourself, go to this page. In April, Rudy Peters published a new book. It is a walking guide in Ghent and it's about the theft of the panel. We haven't had time for it yet, but we will go to Ghent as soon as the weather clears up. It's almost June 2013, but spring hasn't even started yet. Well, time is up. Thank you for watching. This was Sessiot. See you.